Hi Crypto Devs, Liarco here, and in today's video I want to show you how you can set up your Intel-based Mac machine in order to run my ERC721 collection project correctly. Let's get into it. Before I start, please keep in mind that this is a tutorial for beginners. If you are an experienced developer, you might already know how to install all the required software and you might also prefer other ways of doing it. For example, Linux distributions come with awesome package managers out of the box such as apt, yum, and so on. But in this case, it's much easier to show people how to use other tools such as brew, so they don't have to deal with different commands or custom repositories in order to get things done. I'm also gonna leave the whole process there, including errors, so you can see what may happen during the setup process. Okay, so here we are in a virtual machine running a macOS Catalina on a Intel-based Mac machine. Let's install some dependencies. First of all, I'm going to brew.sh and I'm gonna copy this command here. I'm gonna open the terminal and I'm gonna run it. It's gonna ask for the user password and I also have to hit return in order to continue. The homebrew software is gonna need the command line tools from Xcode, so it's gonna download them and also install them for you. Okay, so now we can install Node.js, but before we do that, I want to check out the available versions on the Node.js website. As you can see, there are multiple versions available, and in this case, I'm gonna go with version 16, which is the long-term supported version. In order to install that one, we can run brew install node at 16. Okay. So since we installed a custom version, I want to make sure to have all the binaries in my path. So I'm gonna type brew link node at 16. And now we should be able to run all the commands. Let's type node dash dash version. And it's correct. NPM version. I just add a typo in my command as usual, so it's version and it's correct. And we can also do the same for yarn, which is required by our project. But you can see that the yarn command was not found. So let's get to the yarn website. So we can go to the getting started page installation and in this page you can find the commands that you have to run in order to install the yarn package manager i'm using version 16.14 so we can use core pack enable let's run yarn again and it's working fine awesome now we also have to install truffle in order to use truffle dashboard so I'm gonna install it globally using npm, so npm i-g truffle. I can already tell you that this command is gonna fail because uh, at the time that I'm recording this video, the truffle package has an issue with npm version higher than six. So uh, I'm running this anyway because I want to show you what happens and also what to do in order to fix it. So, as I already told you, this command failed. And by searching online, I discovered that Truffle is not supporting any version of NPM higher than 6. So, we have to downgrade our NPM version in order to install Truffle. So, I'm gonna run npm i g npm at 6. Hopefully, this error is gonna be fixed soon, 
so you might not need this extra step. Okay, we saw a lot of warnings and a lot of stuff, but the installation went successfully. If we run Truffle now, for example, Truffle dashboard, it should be running fine. And as you can see, here it is. Okay, let's close it with Control C. And uh, now we can go ahead and install Visual Studio Code. I'm gonna download the stable build for Mac Universal. And I'm also gonna download the source code for the ERC721 collection project. So I go to the Ashlips lab page. I select the ERC721 collection project. Go to the latest release and I download the source code. Okay, let's go to the downloads and I'm gonna install Visual Studio Code to the applications. I can run it. And I'm gonna leave the default settings. Now we can go to the extensions tab and install the Solidity extension. And now we can test our NFT project. Open folder, go into the downloads, I select the project folder, and I say that I trust the authors. I allow Visual Studio Code to access the files in the Downloads folder. And now we should be able to open a terminal and run some commands. And uh, I'm sorry if uh, it's behaving in a weird way. Uh, sometimes the text is blinking or you're not gonna see everything correctly because that's actually due to the fact that I'm running this inside a virtual machine. And for some reason, uh, it's not gonna work properly, but it should be fine in order to run our tests. So I'm gonna CD to the smart contract folder. And I need to click with my trackpad in order to see the characters here. But yeah, this is the correct path. And now I can run yarn in order to install the dependencies. I'm also gonna open another terminal. And in this one, I'm gonna CD into the minting dab folder. And I'm gonna install the dependencies here as well. In the meantime, the dependencies in the smart contract folder have been installed successfully, so we can compile the contract. Running this compile command is gonna create all the TypeScript typings that are required by the minting tab in order to run properly. Rdat is gonna ask you to allow to send uh, anonymous data to them in order to improve the software, and I'm leaving that to true. And as you can see, everything was compiled successfully. The minting type is also ready, so we can run the dev server. And I'm gonna allow the notification by the terminal notifier. So next time, each build is gonna be notified using the notification system. I can now open this page here in Safari. And as you can see, the minting dApp is working fine. Of course, we don't have MetaMask installed in our system, so we're gonna get this error. But apart from that, the project is ready to run.
And that's all for this video, I hope this will help you starting your project and if you have any questions or anything you would like to see in the next videos, please let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching and bye!